Okay guys, so I just filmed an Ulta haul. If you want to see that, it'll be up here or down, linked down below. Or at the end of the video, once you watch this whole shit through, because you better, girl, you can click on it. So Wait, I'm wearing the same exact thing. Lip color, hair, shirt. I was going to change everything, like my shirt, my lip color. I was going to leave my hair, but then I was like, who am I trying to impress? There are no hot guys that watch my videos or anything, so nobody. Anyways. So, Wannabe is kind of like an Asian-based Korean store, if that makes sense. Everyone has one of those in their malls, I feel like, that are just like the cheaper stores. So, this store is going out of business. So, everything was dirt cheap. So, I had to get something, you know? Like, I was like, let me see what they got for me, you know? So, I... I got this cute little crop top that was $3. Uh, it's not summer anymore, but it's hot as fuck in my room every day. Even in the winter, don't know why. So, I just picked up this cute little crop top. I but, yeah, it was $3 and they didn't have a medium, so I just got this. And it's so cute. Again, this is a try-on haul, so here on this side or on this side, you will see a video and a picture of me trying on the clothes. Uh, these are just some cute little shorts. These were, I think, $5. And they just say love, 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 love. And they're just maroon. And these are in a size medium because that's the last. This was the very, these, this was the very last pair that they had. So I just picked these up and I think they are so, so cute. They're by the brand Reflex Premium, I think. Reflex? I don't even know. But they're so cute for $5. So I was like... If they had more, I probably would have got more. This giant flannel because it's almost fall and y'all know fall's my fucking favorite ass season. I did. So I just picked up this flannel and it's just big and red. It's a size large in, I think, men's maybe? Or maybe it's supposed to be oversized. I don't know, but it's huge on me. I can literally wear it as a flannel dress. But it just has a couple patches. It has this one that says something since 1985. And then it has this Arizona patch. If you know me, I've been to Arizona and I fucking love it. I have family there. And then I have this patch that says M80. Ow, my knee popped. And that was only $9. It was like $8.79 or something like that. Um, If that ain't cheap, I don't know what is. <laughs> so I got this band tee. This is a size medium. Which I'm surprised because their clothes run small. And I'm fat, so I don't even know. But it was originally $13.99, but I got it for $5. All those t-shirts were $5. And it just says Rock Rock Tour Adventures. I don't know. And then it just says Appetite for Destruction Tour 1985. And then just has all the places they went. And I think my mom was two in 1985. Or one. So, cool. Um, then I got this shirt also in a medium, and this was also $5, but it was originally $16, so. Yeah, um, I don't really know what, attra what, what attracted me to this shirt. I'll figure out how to wear it, because this is not really my style, but it just has a little choker thing. And then it just goes all the way motherfucking down with the crossbody, or not crossbody, like, uh, tie-up thing. And the tie-up's like leather, and it's so soft. Um, then I just got this shirt, and it's just really cute and classy. It's just really cute and classy. Uh, yeah, and it was $5, or $4. It was one of those, and it was so cheap. And that was all I got from Wannabe. And I'm honestly so sad that they're closing. I also got this giant bag of Hot Cheetos from Safeway, and I'm not even mad about it. Coat Factory, if you know what that is. It's like... It's like a discounted Macy's, I guess. I don't even know. It's a, it's a, um, it's a store. So I got these really cute fluffy slippers. They were, I think, on sale for $10. There's like, okay. Yeah, they just look like this. Guys, look how cute these are. They're size 8, which I'm a size 8.5, but these fit kind of like perfectly. So just got these. These are super my aesthetic, and I'm going to wear these all the motherfucking time. So probably not at school, but catch me in those at Safeway. I got, oh my god, I fucking love this shirt. Oh, if I didn't say those slippers were $10. This shirt was 
fifteen dollars and it's one of those shirts where it's like off the shoulder but it's a sweater so you kind of have to like fold it you know because it's like ridiculously long and it's like ridiculously hard to fold over a comfortable jumper for or sweater whatever you guys call it i i'm not from england but i call them jumpers just because it's like it sticks i got this for eleven dollars and it's just a gray plain hoodie there's a black bar on it for the shoes and it just is beautiful and it's really comfortable and big and i got this in a size a medium as well order these pants from fashion nova dead ass like three days ago then i was like mm, i don't really want to spend like 25 dollars on a pair of leggings and i'm probably not going to wear that much because i didn't know the material and i was like eh. bitch i found them at burlington for ten dollars literally the exact same pants i don't know if they look the same on camera the exact same leggings and they're so soft i was trying them on in the store and i didn't want to take them off they were so soft so i was like mom i need these she's like ava you can get them how much are they i was like ten dollars she's like bitch thought in the cart like dead ass i'm fucking weird um then i just needed a dress for homecoming and i don't fucks with homecoming but some of my friends wanted me to go Yeah, no, I don't fucks with homecoming. Last year, I bought a dress that was $150 with uh, $50 high heels. So I spent fucking $200 on homecoming to go with my ex-boyfriend that I dated like a year ago, a year and a half. I don't even fucking know, a long time ago. Like the very beginning of freshman year. We didn't even go. Like dead ass. I was like, okay. So I just got this dress and it's just off the shoulder and it's really short, uh, kind of poey, not really, because the black slip underneath stops right under my butt, but then the other part kind of runs to like almost my knee. So it looks kind of like cute, you know, like not hoey, but like not innocent, you know, like just right in the middle, like perfect. Um, and then the sleeves are just kind of like see-through, not kind of see-through, they are, they're mesh. And it's off the shoulder, like I said, and it's really cute. I like it. It was $20, I think. Yeah, it was uh, $19.99, so. I mean, like, $20 for homecoming dress, I'm fucking down. I'm probably not going to wear it ever again. So why not, bitch? <laughs> okay. Next up, I did Victoria's Secret, and I only got panties because they were 5 for 28 and I didn't really need anything else. So I got these cute little rose ones, a size, or my underwear in a size medium, except for the ones with these bands on them. I get them in a large, because I use these ones to sleep. So I want them to be, like, loose and, like, shorts, because I don't wear pants when I sleep. I just wear, like, underwear. So yeah, I got these cute little rose ones. They're so cute. Oh my god, I'm fucking obsessed. I got these kind of school ones. These ones are the larges. They're really, really big, but they'll fit. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, and they just have little, like, peace sign schools on them. They're so cute. These are the boy shorts ones. So I use these ones to sleep. Um, I got these lacy ones. They're not really all lace, but they're just nude. You can never have enough nude underwear. I actually got two pairs of nude underwear. Those were from the pink side. These ones are from the Victoria's Secret side because you can mix and match if you didn't know. So I just got these kinds. Pines. I got these ones, and they're just plain nude because I wear nude underwear all the time. And then, I don't like this band because it's really thin, but these underwear were so cute. They just say a VS and then just have the little kissy face. I'm getting washed out. But yeah, these are also in a size of medium, so that's just what I got from Pink. And then the last place I went to, because I'm trying not to spend all my money, is Bath & Body Works. Because I had a coupon for with any purchase, you get a free three-wick candle. So I was like, shit, I'm down. Also, we had Chinese food in the mall, and I took a bunch of chopsticks because I love chopsticks, and I use them literally to eat everything because I'm fucking weird. Oh, my God, I can smell the candle from here, and I'm literally like, oh. I just was like, okay, well, what's the cheapest thing they sell here? Oh, yeah, hand sanitizers, and I needed to restock on some, so I was like, why not? So I got marshmallow pumpkin latte. I, hmm, bitch. Uh, sorry, I'm latte. I got all of these with either like latte scented or pumpkin or both, you know? So I got this one. These are five for six dollars if you don't know. And then this perfect pumpkin one. And then pumpkin cupcake. 
and then a hay pumpkin, which is so cute because um, my mom used to call me pumpkin when I was little because I was fat. I'm just kidding. That's not why, but she actually did. So, and then I got this free three wick candle. It literally smells like Keurig hot chocolate, which is the best kind of hot chocolate. Don't even fucking lie on me. This is hot cocoa and cream. Oh my god, this smells so good. It just looks like this. And it was originally $22.50, so I saved $22, so I fucked with that shit. And I only ended up spending $7.02 for that much stuff. So I ain't even mad, fool. So that's all I got for my mall haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all that good shit, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah. Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake Cause I don't fucking care At all